in this next lesson, I like to talk about uh, changing the target notes that come out of um, fast staccato runs. The target note would kind of like be the ending note or the point that you sort of bounce off and start over again. And the reason for changing the top notes or bottom notes is to give it a sense of uh, changing. You have lots of energy from the, the fast notes, but you often don't get a sense of melody from the fast notes. And by having the, uh, the, the little the, the points where the melody turns around or stops or hits as, t as target points, having that change, it, it, it gives a sense of a very simple uh, melody movement. And I find that oftentimes you can get away with playing something very complicated as long as there's something simple sort of build into it, some, some little changes that makes, makes it easier for your ear to follow. picking the target notes to work around those chords. In this case, first target note is the high G. The next uh, one will be an F. And then the D. Then C. melody in there, although it sounds like definitely massive notes. Some of the times I'm, I'm repeating the D on, on the, the third string and second string in order to keep that, that rhythmic cluster going. So when you play it fast, it, it seems like you're playing different notes all the time, that some of them are the same note. You know, with the, the distortion from the amp uh, gives it a kick with each note. So part of part of what makes it uh, happen is, is just the rhythmic kick of everything. And sometimes playing two notes on two different uh, excuse me, sometimes playing the same note on two different strings is a great way to um, keep the energy up without risking playing a note that, that messes with the melody. This lick is alternate picking and like I always do, the strong part of the beat or the downbeat is with the downstroke and if I start on the upstroke, I start if I start on the upbeat, I start with an upstroke. So every, every note is, is, is up and down. So, you know, take some practice. It's, it's um, because there's a few little skips in there, it will uh, require you to, to practice the skips separately. You know, um, practice jumping. From <laughs> practice doing that jump without hitting the, the B string. And uh, anytime you play a fast lick, anytime you find yourself hitting something just not quite perfect, try to stop and analyze what it is that you're missing. And usually it'll be a skip where your pick wants to head in a direction that's inconvenient for the skip. Rather than change your pick direction, just practice the skip by itself. Make an exercise. <laughs> Spend five or ten minutes doing that, then go back and try it. I guarantee you, it, you'll, you'll feel it differently and you'll probably play it easier. Okay, this next example is another approach to using the, the changing the target notes. In this case, it'll be the top note of each little group. This will be in G minor, Aeolian, and 
in in one section I'll, I'll actually change up the rhythm a little bit to uh, well to make it more interesting <laughs> Key things in this one is I'm 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 changing the rhythm a little bit to, to add a little stuff. And so that simple melody, we're just going to reinforce that and make it more dense by adding a, a constant um, undercurrent of. Uh, Notes that fit also to make that rhythmic jump, to make that, that melody notes take a four notes in, in each group, so it's it stays on the B string. I'll overemphasize that for effect, but the uh, if you play it totally symmetrical, that's cool and everything. But in order to get the syncopation of that melody, it, it was the only way to do it was to kind of um, chop the uh, underlying accompaniment shorter to, to fit the shorter melodic note or target note. Okay, in this next group, the target note that changes is going to be on the bottom, so the repetitive notes will be on top, and uh, near, near the end of each phrase will be the, the note that changes. And it, this is just in uh, straight G minor. <laughs> Playing it slow, the target note is a D. as much sense when you play it slow as when you play it fast because when you play it fast you can hear the move since they're the last note they come at odd times and they're they're not always on one and not as predictable so it makes a nice syncopated little melody 